you're watching, stop. Stop. You're going to run me over. Go forward. Turns out that's not microwave friendly. <laughs> God. Oh well. Just heated up a bit of brisket, and this is for this is from last night actually. So um, we're just about to hike into the Beehive Falls in the Grampians, and it's perfect. You know, we just heated that up. Unfortunately, we just melted the ass out of the <laughs> out of the click lock bag. That's, Where is it? We'll put it oh, in, you the put bin. in the bin. Oh. Um, luckily, it did didn't actually melt onto the meat, but does that taste plasticky, darling? <laughs> 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 yeah, well, you got to die or something. So as Troy said, we're at the Grampians, we're about to hike to Beehive Falls. We've managed to get a car park where the caravan just fits in. And you'll probably be wondering what we're doing with Coco. Well, she's just sitting in her bed. So she'll stay in the caravan while we go and do the hike. It's only 1.4 k's, so it's only 18 minutes. So be, and we're out of here. be pretty quick. And then we'll go to our campsite. But we're starving. Mm. That plastic taste is amazing. Yep, she's hot and dusty. Just as we start to go on our hike, it starts raining again. Mm. Just what we want. Mm. Oh, we're not doing the big, big if it was a beautiful day and we didn't have cocoa, that would be a good walk. So we're just going to do Beehive Falls. 1.4. <laughs> We're not far in and we can already hear the waterfalls. Sounds like they're just to the left of us. Not sure why we're power walking up this hill. I don't know if it's the rain. Plenty of water, it's beautiful. Beautiful river. So we're not going into the Grand Pins National Park because obviously we've got a dog but you'll see the peaks and the rock formations as we go through. Very close now, I can really hear it. Oh, look at that, that's spectacular. Laura's bringing up the rear. So we're just saying about shoes. We've both got our hiking shoes on. But mine are more summer, so yeah, they've got the holes in them. So my feet are wet. Mm. 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 Mine are good to, good to go, but what I do with my hiking boots is I put snow seal on them. And um, that stuff keeps your feet waterproof at all times. It's what I used to use up in the snow when I worked there many years ago. Great stuff, you can put, also put it on your gloves so your hands don't get wet. Well, we're starting to hear some action now. How's the scenery? Like, even though it's raining, it actually makes it even better. Watch yourself on these rocks, darling. It's very slippery. How's that? They've carved steps out of the rocks and then a little platform you can walk along. Yeah, it's very slippery. We'll try and get the sign in as well. 
Oh, right. Let's have a look at this. We actually got here perfect timing. People have just left. We've pretty much got the whole place to ourselves. Look at the flame coming up. Just the water splashing off. It just makes it, doesn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Try to get here when it's raining. Because you get to see that. Let's check out this place, <laughs> the Pines Halls Gap, is that? The Pines? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just think, I'm assuming it's called the Pines because there's lots of pine trees. It's plantation campground. Oh, I was bloody close. Alright, plantation campground, camp number three, out around the Grampians, dog friendly. Let's go and see what this place is all about. It's actually quite busy and we're not far out of town so that's hence why. There's a lot of people here. Come in a fire, pit, fire pits. Not sure who supplies the wood, but they're there if you want them. So we're in Camp F at the moment. There's about four or five designated areas, or probably more. Haven't really explored it too much just yet. Some toilet facilities up here. Yeah, here's the toilets and showers. I'm guessing these will be cold. Mmm, very salubrious. It looks all pretty self-explanatory. It's a peaceful area. And they've had a lot of rain here, so it's very overcast. It's supposed to clear up. But we'll see. We will see. Yeah, so not a bad little day spot to come to, I wouldn't, wouldn't have thought. Especially if you want to do some hikes from here. Um, there's a lot of different fall drive tracks, mountain bike tracks, and dog crap tracks. <coughs> this is one of the fuck pet hikes. Picking up crap. It's going to be, oh, I don't even think I've been here.
diesel heater is cranking. It is, it's so nice and warm in here. Oh my god, it's boiling, darling. Yeah. I think we just we jagged the best spot. Yeah, I do too. What's um, it like out there? Oh, it's very busy. There's a lot of people. Yeah, this is nice and tucked away here. Are they toilets? Yeah, yeah. toilets and well, showers. Well, oh, really? Cold showers. Oh, what were they like? Yeah. yeah, Coco thought so. She decided to drop one. Oh, good. Finally. Yeah, that was great. How far it's away? It's nice looking out here. Like, look at that. What are we from Hall's Gap? 10k? 10, 10k is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. I think we're fortunate enough to, to get our little tucked away spot, which is great. Obviously, it's a weekend today. It's Saturday, so people coming in from town are, or people, hikers and mountain bike riders and all that sort of stuff yeah. are going to camp here. And that's why there's a lot of tents and stuff around. Yeah, and yesterday <coughs> yesterday was a good day weather-wise, so a lot of people would have come up yesterday, and I was a bit worried that we might not have scored a spot yet. Mm -hmm. So within saying that, the last two camp, camp spots were pretty right up there, like some of my favourite spots. This one, not so much, but I think as far as it's a, a means to an end if you want to come hiking or fishing or whatever. Um, and bring your dogs. So, look, I'm going to rate this little camp spot here. We haven't been here long, but I pretty much had a feeling straight away as soon as we rocked in here. I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 10. Jesus. 4, four out, out, of out of 10? 4 out of 10, yeah. A, right. a, little bit, a little bit's got oh. to do with the weather. Anyway, so maybe I need to go for a walk and see why. Well, other than just camping here, there's nothing to do right in this particular spot. You just It's just a... A base camp. It's just base, yeah. It's like... There's no, you can't really walk from here. Everything's fenced off. There's certain areas you can't camp, which pushes everyone closer together. Mm. It's very, it feels sterile. So that's why I'm going to give it a four. Compared to our last camps, which were open, free, dog friendly, water views. You could, you could hike from there. You can fish from there. You can do a lot of things. So that's only my opinion. Everyone else might be different, but, um, at least that gives you guys different perspective in three different campsites that we've just been to. Mm. That's the whole idea of this episode because a lot of people think that they come to the Grampians and it's just National Park and you can't bring your dog or you can't go hunting or fishing or fly drones or whatever. The views are really hard to see. That doesn't help the rating yeah. either. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but I did mention that too. And we don't have a fire pit in this yeah. spot. It's communal fires. So anyway, tonight we're doing something different. We're going on a date. A date in Hall's Gap. So I found... Have you got my wallet? Probably in the car. Oh. <laughs> we've found about four different restaurants that we're going to try. So we're just going to have appetizers at each place. We're going to... Tr the idea is that we're going to try four different cuisines. So Australian, American, Italian and Indian. So... We're excited. We're all dressed up in our oh, fine, well, sort of, in our finest camping gear. Scissors, I'm un under strict instruction. Paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> oh my god. It's the same thing, just different. <laughs> well, they got outdoor chairs. I'm un under strict instructions. <laughs> what the 
one one meal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like one thing. This is prime position. Yes. We rocked up here, no heaters. Laura went in and demanded them to put the heater on. Said, <laughs> so, do you know who I am? She goes off oh, journey unknown. If you don't turn those heaters on, we're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, so we are at Paper Scissors Rock. We are going, we're going to share one item. Okay, well you, have you select. Drink. I'm just going to have, I'm just going to have a wine. <laughs> and then you, you select the food. There's actually no one. The place We're the last empty. ones. Because <laughs> someone's finishing his drink. <laughs> um, Alright, so we went to three places in the end. We started at Paper Scissors Rock, which was the best. Then we went to, oh, we tried to go to Flame, Flame Brothers. And they they didn't want to cater for us. So then we moved on to Roccalotta Pizzeria, I think it was. That was okay. That was good, but they had wine glasses. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have wine glasses. They forgot my focaccia. They gave it to another table. So then I had to wait for another one. So we spent a lot of time there. Yeah. Not sure. I wouldn't what go you, back there. What do you rate? You wouldn't go to the pizzeria, do you? No, I wouldn't no. go back. I liked out the front of it. Yep. And then here, Spirit of Punjab. <laughs> so different, but the food's beautiful. The food the is food, really the food nice. Is unbelievable. So you can't, you know, you can just, it's not everyone's taste, the decor, but the, the service. The service and the food is amazing. So I was saying to what, Troy, what before, about the robots? <laughs> Yeah, the robots we've got at Southland. <laughs> um, I was saying to Troy, I think in hindsight, like it was great to try all these different restaurants, but if I was to come back again, I'd go back to Paper Scissors Rock and just get like four or five starters from there. Rock Paper Scissors. <laughs> That's, yeah, that, that's was, where I go. that was actually a really nice spot for date night. Yeah. I, I, that was probably my top three. Oh, the arancini balls were amazing. Yeah, they were really good. The service was great. Had a good ambience outside because of the um, fire. Yeah, the heaters. When, once Laura went in there and told them where she was from, <laughs> you know, journey unknown, and they, they basically said, no worries, we'll put the fires on for you. And the spice rum was pretty good too. Yeah. Anyway, Coco's in the car. We've got to get her home. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the caravan. It's 10 k's away, and put the diesel heater on. I'm gonna watch a movie, and we're gonna make some popcorn.
One thing you don't like doing first thing in the morning is having to change the toilet. You just squeezed everything I possibly could into it now. Yeah, it's time to change. Thank God we've got a second canister. I was thinking last night it would be perfect if we had a tunnel boot here under the bunk bed and then you take the existing canister out and you just store it in there until you get to a dump point. That would be ideal. inside. It's just dirt from the existing canister. Okay. This one's already got a bit of water in it. And the tablet. Make sure it's on top.
time to go, but we're in the tightest spot, so we've got to do some maneuvering to get out of here. Go straight into that spot. Left. No, darling. I said... Okay, come. Stop. Babe, go into that spot and come back. Because you're, you're too far on an angle. Okay. Turn. Good job. Straight back. Okay, this way. This, no. Go forward. Are you watching? Stop. 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 What are you doing? Stop. My God. What are you watching? You clearly don't have the camera on. No, I didn't. Because I'm right behind the camera going stop in the caravan. You're going to run me over. Go forward. This is how people have divorces. Yep. Yep. It must be dirty. Go slowly, babe. I'm worried about that tree. Yep. Just keep going. You know what? You know why the caravan was going the other way? Because when I was looking in the rear vision mirror, I'm looking at the one-way street, and the sign's the opposite way. So I'm turning, thinking I'm going up the hill, and then I'm like, hang on a minute, there's two poles there. It was going the opposite to what I was supposed to be going. And then I've got you in the background yelling, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. Kick it, rip it. <laughs> Careful. You just missed that tree. No, I didn't. You did, darling. You're a bit too fast in my in the beast. Anyway, we got out of there. <laughs> We're still together. We're still engaged. I, I said to them, that's how people get divorced. <laughs> oh. Stress yourself out, babe. Anyway, look at these spots. <laughs>